Hey guys, passwords everything with Crypto Marie Local and International. Could Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless be united? That was the question in social media and people's mind. They were wondering if those two old pal will get back together and make a trio with Shannon Sharp. Today I was watching Stephen A. Smith YouTube channel and he was saying, well, he did not know ESPN was going to make a statement about uh, Skip Bayless' uh, good luck to his uh, future endeavor, uh, some crap like that. I don't have the exact phrase in my head. The fact that Stephen A. Smith said, well, they did not say anything to me. They did not ask me any question. They just put the statement out there. I strongly believe Stephen A. Smith think he is a part of ESPN. He's not an employee. <laughs> I think they give him a wake up ninja call. Brother, you just work there. They just pay you. They don't have to tell you every move, everything they're going to do. And to tell you the truth, if ESPN decide to hire Skip Bayless, I don't even think they would say anything to stephen a smith i don't think he's that important to these people <laughs> and another thing people are concerning what we about skip bailey skip bailey is 72 or 73. the guy look amazing full head full of hair he's looking fantastic he's just a wood old man that don't like lebron james and i have a problem with that he's looking great and amazing why stressing yourself to be commentating on football basketball or whatever sport it is man like just go enjoy your life i mean you're 72 isn't it the retirement age in america is 65 to 68 so why we have a 72 year or taking space of a younger person who can actually do something like give their opinion without having some kind of law i'm against this person i'm for this person i don't understand the logic behind it the guy is 72 He's been in the business for about 38 years, depending on what Stephen A. Smith was saying today. So I don't understand why people are feeling bad for the guy. He's a millionaire. He has money. Okay? So why are you guys concerning about him? And another thing, when it comes to business, nothing is personal, man. I would not be surprised ESPN hired Skip Bayless to have Stephen A. Smith and shannon shop back together again as a trio it will be a money maker for them do you think they give to fly f about your feelings about who you want to team it up with no baby it's about money it's about viewers look maybe skip bellies by himself is not enough to bring a lot of viewers to the table but if skip bellies shannon shop and Stephen A. Smith can put their differences aside. <laughs> they will be the forever trio that will kill the game. They will knock the waiting competition out. They will knock it because Skip Bayless have worked with both. And of course, they agree and have disagreement on different subjects. So to see these three guys are fighting the ass off talking about this that player i mean skip bell is 72 but he still have it in him so it would not be a bad thing for espn to hire him to have him back i mean let me tell you something <sighs> stephen ace me said something which i don't believe i know he's the coconut guy white and inside brown and outside he's saying he would not do that to shannon sharp because Shannon Sharp used to be his competitor when Shannon Sharp used to work with Skip Bayless. Nah, they work together. They are friends. But it's not up to Stephen A. Smith for ESPN to hire whomever hell they want to hire. <laughs> I don't think Stephen A. Smith has that in his mind. Brother, they just give you a wake-up call. you just another ninja on the table. Or do you bring them money, viewers, all kind of crap, controversial stuff, you know. They suspend in your ass. You come back and back to business. They don't care. 
If they want to make money with Skip Bayless, they will hire him. This is white on white. They don't care about a brother, a ninja, opinion. They don't. So when it comes to you saying you wouldn't do that for Shannon to Shannon Sharp, you and Shannon Sharp has no say in what ESPN decide to do at the end of the day. It's them making money. Again, I advise Skip Bayless to just retire, you know, enjoy your life. You have a YouTube channel, just talk whatever crap you want to talk on that. I mean, you're a millionaire. Why are you walking until you die? What's wrong with people in America? Why can't you enjoy your life? Wake up, don't have nowhere to go. Go on vacation. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your money. Why people want to work, work, work? Look, I'm in my late 40s. I wish crypto would explode right now. I make a few millions. I'll say thank you, but no thanks. I'm out. I don't need that stress from work. Do you know how stressful it is? <laughs> For me to start getting ready to iron my clothes, get in the shower, put a little makeup, oh, get on the wood to go to work. Like, I hate every second of it. So when I see people are fighting in their old age to go to work, it's like, what went wrong? In your 30s, in your 20s, in your 40s? If I knew, I came to America when I was 16. I did my high school here in some college. If I knew about investment, when I came here, I would not be working for nobody after five to 10 years being here in America. And I've been here for 30 something years. It is unfortunate. I found out about those things later on in life. As you go, you learn. I, I don't want to work for nobody. You're giving them your youth, the best of you. And they give you little to nothing. You can't even maintain your lifestyle whatever the little bit you give them and you're making them companies billions millions and the little bit they give you let me tell you something guys learn to be your own boss if you can i'm telling you i am in my late 40s i wish i knew about investing i wish i knew about a certain things a certain no to knock on the door to create my own business and have my own shit going for me. So I don't have to say yes, no to nobody. Because at the end of the day, when they don't want you anymore, it doesn't matter how long you've given them. They're going to let your ass go. So learn to be your own boss. Create your own shit, period. Again, I don't think it would have been a bad thing to see all three of them together. I don't know how deep the feud was between Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. I think they could... Have some kind of reconciliation. Like, talk about the shit. You guys are brothers. Y'all work together for so long. If y'all can get it together, I think it will be magnificent. I think it will be amazing all three of them get together and, and, and talk about basketball, football, whatever the hell they talk about. It will be great. Why not? Let me see. If, uh, let me finish this last uh, sentence. Skip Bayless reportedly leaving FS1 might give Stephen A. Smith the final piece of leverage he needs to get the offer he wants from ESPN. Eight years after Bayless left first take for FS1 and four years after he nearly reunited with Smith on ESPN, the godfather of debate TV are slated to hit the free agent pool together albeit with vastly different leverage plays smith has already reportedly received an 18 million dollar per year contract offer from espn but want more bailers meanwhile will just be looking to see if he can maintain some semblance of sports media platform that's a lot of money for somebody just talking trash about black players damn stephen a smith i have to congratulate you Making almost $90 million for whatever years, five years, I think, they give it to him. That's a lot of money, brother. I mean, damn. I don't know. I mean, you're making money out of the brothers you don't like. You're talking trash about. It just don't make no sense to me. They paying you that kind of money to take crap about black players. Because when it comes to white players, you always try to smooth it out. You always try to arrange it a certain way it don't sound bad. You don't get suspended. But when it comes to the black players, oh, you go all the way in. You do a 360 on our, on our brothers, brother. Like, what the hell is wrong with Stephen A. Smith? Seriously. Again, I don't think it would have been a bad thing, seriously, to have all three of them together. 
uh i don't know what's the deal with shannon shop i know skip Bailey disrespected him on fs1 table tell him to put your glasses back on it was really disrespectful i felt it for him as a black woman i really don't feel like skip Bailey was right for doing that to him but come on y'all work together for seven years why not just get together and make espn some more money subscribe bye thank you for watching bye